Assalamu alaikum and good morning. I am Naima Afin, teacher of class 3 from Mahmudpur branch. Welcome you all to today's online video class. Dear students, how are you all? I hope all of you are fine not only physically but also mentally. Students, can you tell me which class I am taking now? Yes, I am taking now math class. And are you afraid of math subjects? I think you are not afraid of math subject. Because in this subject, whenever you solve any problem, then you get more satisfaction than other subject. Isn't it? So if you practice math every day, then you will do better in math subject. Because we know Practice makes a man perfect. So, now I am going to start our today's class. Today's, our topic is short questions answer. And you know that already we have started our revision class. And uh, today's our revision class number is 6. Students, you know that in our question pattern, there is a short question answer. And 15 question will come from the short question answer. So I know that already you have got the short question answer sheet. And today is our revision class. That's why I am not discuss the uh, 20 short question answer. I will discuss some short question answer from the sheet. Okay, students. So, let's start the class. So, here I have written the question. What is called the method of distributing something among two or more than two groups okay students it is the first short question answer i have written here so i know all of you know the answer of this question isn't it but again i am repeating it that listen student they are asking you what they are asking you about the method of distributing so, you have to think about the method. Can you tell me what, which method indicate distributing? It will be addition, subtraction. The answer will be multiplication. No, because we know which method is called method of distributing. Yes, the answer is division. Because we know in, from the division chapter that division means distributing or divide something among two or more than two groups. Isn't it? So I am going to discuss the next number. Number two. What is the inverse method of division? What is the inverse method of division? Yes, the inverse method of division is multiplication because we know that in division they will give you the total number but in multiplication method we have to find out the total number isn't it so that's why division is called inverse method of multiplication. So, I am going to discuss the next number. Our next question is, what should be the smaller than divisor? Again, I am telling you, what should be the smaller than divisor? I think you know the parts of division. 
The parts of division is what? Can you remember? Yes. The parts of division is dividend, divisor, quotient and reminder. And this fourth part, can you tell me which part will be the smaller than divisor? Yes, students, you are right. The answer will be reminder. Look, I am showing an example here. Here, the middle number is the dividend. It is the greater number, you know. 56, I have written. And here is 6. And 6 is the divisor here. And we have to read out the times table of what? Yes, 6. So, read out the 6 times table. It should be uh, equal or less than 56. So, we know in 6 times table there is no 56. So, we have to take the nearest one, isn't it? Yes. 6 nines are 54. And now I am doing the subtraction. 6 minus 4. What will be there? 2. And look, this 9 number is greater than 6. But here this 2 is smaller than 6. So this is reminder, isn't it? So what should be the smaller than divisor? Yes, the reminder should be smaller than divisor. Okay, keep it mind. Now I am going the next number. Okay, from division chapter, here I am writing the question. What is called the number by which division is done? Here, student, look at there. What is called the number by which division is done? You have to look at the question properly. Look, here they are asking you about by which. By which. And by which you have to know that in division chapter we have to come to know that uh, smaller, greater number we have to divide by the smaller number. And the answer will be here divisor. Because by the divisor we have to divide the dividend. Is it, isn't it? Okay, students. Here, look, I have given an example also here. Here is 16 is the dividend. And which one is the divisor here? Yes. This smaller part, 4, is the divisor. Because by 4, we have to divide the greater number, 16. So, if we have to read out the times table 4 now. 4 for the 16. It will be equal 16. So if we do the subtraction here, 6 minus 6, there will be what? Nothing. 0. Have you understood? I hope all of you can remember this short question answer because already we have taken class about short question answer. Okay. Now I am going to start another one. Look students, here which note has the picture of national parliament? Can you tell me from which chapter I am discussing this question? Yes, we are discussing this question from the Bangladeshi coins and notes. Can you remember these things? Okay, look, here I have given a picture of 1000 taka note. And can you the picture of our national parliament? Yes, I hope that you are watching it. Our national parliament picture. Students, I want to tell you one thing. That sometimes in your question, it may come like this way. That which note has the picture of DR? Which note has the picture of 
national parliament isn't it yes so you have to observe that picture of notes very attentively so that you can give the right answer from the picture we can easily got the answer that 1000 taka note has the picture of national parliament okay now go to the next number what is the currency abbreviation for bangladeshi taka Look at the question students, you know what is the currency of Bangladesh? The name of currency is Bangladesh is Taka, isn't it? Yes, you already know it everybody. Look, what is the question for you? They are not asking you about the name of currency. They are asking you the abbreviation for Bangladeshi Taka. Do you know the meaning of abbreviation? Yes, the meaning of abbreviation is it is the short form of any word. Like if I told you taka, T A K A taka, but it is a long form. But if I write only T and K, then it will be the short form of taka, isn't it? Yes, so. What will be the abbreviation for Bangladeshi Taka? The answer is B D T. So let me explain it. B D T. So its full form of B D T is Bangla Deshi Taka. And look, I have taken B from the Bangla this word and D from the Deshi word and this T means Taka. These three words make B, G, T. Okay, students. Now, I will discuss the number 6. What is the relation between Taka and Poisha? I hope all of you already know about it. That what is the relation between Taka and Poisha? Taka and Poisha relation is answer will be like that. 1 Taka equal to 100 Poisha. Students, you know, whenever we uh, solve the problem from the chapter Bangladeshi coins and notes, we know that whenever the Poisha become 100, then we, what we do? Yes, we make it 1 Taka. We write it as a Taka. So this is the relation between Taka and Poisha. So we know that the answer will be 1 Taka equal to 100 Poisha. Have you got it? Okay. Students now go to the next. The next question for you. Which coin has the picture of Jomuna Bridge? I again I repeat, which coin has the picture of Jomuna Bridge? Students, I told you before that you have to observe the picture of notes, coin properly so that you can give the answer correctly. So here, give me the answer. Which coin has the picture of Jomuna Bridge? Yes, our answer is 5 Taka coin. E all, I think that all of you have the coin of 5 Taka. So if you observe that you can see that the picture of Jomuna Bins is in 5 Taka coin. 
So this is our right answer. Five taka coin. Now go to the next. And the, our next question is what is called the angle that is 90 degree as exactly. Okay students. We are discuss about this question from our geometry chapter. Already we have done the class about geometry chapter. So from this class I hope that all of you know very well for the geometry what things we have to need. Yes, we have to need how to use the geometry box. And you have to use the, uh, some tools like compass very carefully, okay? So, we are discussing the question here. What is called the angle that is 90 degree? Exactly. Okay. The answer will be what? Yes. The answer will be right angle. You know, I am showing here a picture. First of all, you have to look that what is angle. Angle means when two straight line meet a common point. Here look, I have drawn two line here, straight line and these two line meet a common point. Here is the common point of these two straight line. Isn't it? But now we have to measure the angle. I know that you have to already know how to use the uh, protector to draw the figure of angle. Yes, you have to practice how to use the protector. Okay, so here whenever, look this is the picture of what? Yes, it is the picture of protector and it is the point and we have to uh, Put this point here and whenever I have to draw 90 degree then you will see that there will be 90 degree. Then we know another when the angle is 90 degree then it will be called which angle? Obtuse angle. No. We know that whenever it is 90 degree then it will be called right angle. Yes. Very good. So we got the answer whenever it is exactly 90 degree whenever you set the protector here then you see it is a 90 degree then it will be called right angle. So students now you have to more practice at home how to draw the right angle. Now I am going to discuss the next question. The question is again from the geometry chapter which angle is greater than right angle? Students the question look at the question here. Here I have written greater than right angle. So already we have known about three kinds of angle. What are they? They are right angle obtuse angle and acute angle and we have to follow the uh, definition of right angle obtuse angle and acute angle and according to the definition we have to draw the picture and we already know that which angle is greater than 90 degree isn't it yes the answer will be obtuse angle because from the definition we have to know, uh, we have come to know that obtuse angle is uh, more than 90 degree but less than 180 degree. When we measure the angle more than 90 degree but less than 180 degree then it is called obtuse angle. Look here, here is a straight line. It is a 90 degree line when you have to set the protector then you, you can easily understand how can we draw the obtuse angle so it is more than 90 degree look 
here is 120 degree okay so this angle will be called obtuse angle and obtuse angle always greater than right angle okay so you have to follow the class what we have already taken on geometry chapter so you can easily understand now it is the last question for us what does geometry mean what does geometry mean so look students from this word geometry we can uh, divide this word geometry in a two part geo and metry do you know what does geo, geo means yes i hope that you know it very well geo means earth and metry means matron means measurement so geometry means art measurement okay so what will be the question here i am discuss it again answer will be we know geometry means measuring surface without geometry we cannot measure anything in this world so geometry means measure the art surface because geo means art and metron means measurement okay so geometry means we have to know geometry means measuring surface okay students so students it's time for diary writing we have discussed lots of uh, 10 short question answer today and already we have given you the geo short question answer sheet that's why i have discussed few questions here today i hope that you have practiced this sheet at your home okay so now time for diary writing learn the short question answer everybody take out your sw copy uh, diary and write down learn the short question answer okay i think that all of you have already written your diary okay so students no more today students you know if you want to live to your life hi you have to work hard isn't it so i i hope that you will go ahead with study every day so no more today take care bye bye